someone told me I should try like the the, the Flavia, Flavia way. My friend is like, welcome dear viewers and welcome to this my YouTube channel. What the hell? Without further ado, welcome to Tina's Random Thoughts. We're going to talk about some ish today. I'm just saying. Okay, so I've not been here for a minute and all you guys have been complaining. Tina, jango to work Lugambo, Mbawechi. Like at times I look at the issue that's happening in my country and I'm like, am I here? I'm one of them. So Palasso came out with his same old BS. I don't know what she, I'm tired. Every time he feels like his nuts are, don't sit so well with him, he decides um, I'm going to actually run around and begin telling people they are chasing me. Gwoli nakachi. Why are they always looking for you? And why is... Did you watch that video? Pissed me off. He was like, To Charlie, move your Black Lives Matter. And he put his knee on me. To be more America. And then he put his knee... Palazzo, you use this opportune moment to remind us of Black Lives Matter in Uganda. That a Ugandan police officer put his knee on your neck. Is that news? In Uganda, is that news? Here's what I'm going to say. I don't know if the shoe store is making any money or if it's still open, but you have a couple of options. You know, you have a couple of options. What you're going to do now is you're going to actually be your brother's court tails. Yes, you're going to be, no, you're not going to ride his court tails. You're going to be his court tails. Which brother am I saying? Chameleon is going to join politics. Of course, he's most definitely not going to go. Oh no, I can't go there. Ugandan surprised with this election. Uganda we got to Kukamidi, akufuni de chokola. Echukua relevance, otaniko kuyomba kone ba supporters. Chanka la nya DP, it is a very boring party. Hmm? Get something to do there, you know, or else you can go and sit with Weasel. He is hella bored. He's out here beating women at times and telling us he was shooting music videos. God damn, those women can act, if you ask me. If you ask me. But you, you have options, you know. Weasel has like about 15 babies. At <clears throat> Last time Ugandan media counted, but... <laughs> Baby sit. Do something. We can't keep up. You can't keep coming to us every time. And why are you the only person who doesn't understand flight or fight? Palazzo is always in flight, but with a fight mode. I don't know if you people get it. Like, whenever they come to arrest this guy, Ayangu Wokuduka, fight mode, you are sim. How quick are you to jump on your phone? Stop this nonsense. Shut up, you grown ass man. They came to your house at night. We were having dinner. What dinner was that? Were those cups so loud? They had to wake up the entire Aussie. Anyway, I'm just saying, find you something to do. Oh, who else? Oh, yeah. Full figure. <laughs> so before we get into full figure story, there's this guy called Basaja Mivule. He did a ranting video. I think you guys saw him. He was actually even arrested and all that political shit. If you ask me, I'm tired of the politics in my country. It's so full of sh**. Like the sh** that is in our political scene is some sh** and then some, right? So Basaj Jamivule stands up and he feels Akoyeba government, he mafia, and he goes on a rant. In his rant, he's rallying up the troops. He's like, oh, yo, these guys are using us. Abaganda, I must okay. I watched that Kakuli Panda's like. <laughs> the whole conversation in those couple of weeks was about sectarianism and um, what, what's it called? Uh, uh, and nepotism and tribalisticness and all those things. That was the conversation in those weeks. If you ask me, are we tribalistic in this country? I'll say no. My country is not tribalistic. It's the people who are in particular places who decide to be tribalistic. Case in point. Buenbera Omunyoro, Nenyengiramu government, and my cousin comes with the right qualifications. The very first person, it's like an introduction in Africa when you walk into a room and you're like, oh, by the way, I'm also Mnyankwere, or I'm also a Japadola, or I'm also Luo. It, it, there's that rapper, like, like why don't you get into it? Immediately, it becomes easier to deal with that person. So you end up having to hire people who you feel are your people, because those are the people you feel you'll understand. It's that simple, people. We are all raised a different type of way. So we all want to relate to people who understand the way we were raised. Simple like that. So you end up with some, anyway. So full figure also comes out and she's like, yo. She had some sense sense. 
Only problem is that it was her saying it. But there was some sense in there. You know, she should say Drabaganda Bali wano ne wano ne wano ne wano. And then she said Dabanyankola wano ne wano wano. No. I, I sit down and I think about these things and I'm like, so even if another tribe were to come into power and then they try to make this ish balance out, whatever you people claim that this particular tribe in in government right now has ruined, guess what? The next tribe is going to have to take that same slack and it's going to take you light years to get to where you think you're supposed to be. So yeah, keep shouting. Change, tribe, blah, blah, blah. Nothing much is really going to matter at some point. 2021's elections, eh? I thought to get a new man, eh? I feel like they have outdone themselves already. You've brought out all the drama too quick. You have UPC fighting for a color. Scarlet, crimson, or that thing, that thing he likes. Jay-Z, is it Mav? Is Mav red or pink? I'm just trying to ask. I mean, these this fucking colors have names. They have names, Gwe. This is a red, they can tell you a red that is Simania. Bagandi. Deep black balls red. <laughs> UPC, calm down, calm down. Go and tell Akeda to think of other things. He has been silent all this time and now he wants to come like, oh my goodness, we want the color. They started using this color last year. Y'all just saw it. Maybe his sense went with the locks when he cut them. No, I would never know. Anyway, y'all know the reason I am off air. <laughs> it's because UCC said, oh heck no. They be stripping. They're like, get off. Mm. Now UCC came back in the news. Reason this time? Every artist, even failing artists, even artists who will never get to be artists. Even, wait, where's my boo popping now? You see, see, I came out, gave out a bunch of rules and regulations on how the arts industry is finna conduct themselves. <laughs> First of all, I don't know why you artists were shouting now because I remember some time last year, about the same time, or was it last year or the other year? Save UG Music, when that was going down, is when the Ministry of Gender Law and uh, Labour-ish rolled them out. They rolled them out, we had a, sim like a small, small discussion, but because people like Edikens were not understanding it, we left it. That was on the WhatsApp group, before they deleted it. And just all of us <laughs> were masquerading as artists on it, but anywho, you all remember that time. Anywho, I'm an artist, too, kinda. I mean, you think it's easy to, to run your mouth the way I do? That's some art in there. I'm an orator. Is it an orator? Kagamba, when I was zoom, and where I be waka to veye yo. Anywho, you see, coming out and giving all these ridiculous. Yo, you're gonna wait. My boobs are going to jump out. I'm not stupid. Anywho, here's my thing with UCC. I know every country in the world has a regulating body for communication in every part of the world. But then I also understand that those regulating bodies, before they hand down rules and regulations of how you will be a part of that or under that umbrella, have to understand the type of person that they're giving these rules and regulations to, case in point. You come and tell, let's, let, let's, okay, let's, Kadongo come on guy, you can influence a bit. Palazzo, this Palazzo, go, yo, Palazzo can release 35 songs and UCC will be like, it's just him. We can let him slide. <laughs> Wait, you all keep making me forget this is, uh, my mind is too random today. Anywho, you all know the people who are at UCC. I think the youngest is like, what, 212? Say, they might even come for me on YouTube. Can they come for me on YouTube? They don't know how to log in. They don't know how to log in. <laughs> At the end of the day, that's all I'm going to say. UCC, before you come down and you agree to some of these regulations, sit down with the teams that understand the different bits of the industries that you're actually coming for. Because what's funny is that this whole directive is supposed to, to affect pretty much so many aspects of different industries but it looks like it's targeting just the entertainment industry. And once you take away the people's joy, once you take away what the people 
use as a sit back, kick back moment, the ha ha moments for them, you have a problem. You're brewing, you're brewing a war. The world is such a sh place right now. We don't even know if we'll make it past 2020. I'm not sure, but hey, I stopped living in 2020 in January. So you all tell me how it's doing right now. City, you. I'm waiting for New Year's, man. I signed out. So anyway, you see, see. Mugende, my advice is, Mugende mfune yo kubwano obuto. Butule muzi office ezo. Bulo woze. We need think tanks in my country. We do not need individuals anymore. These individuals are constantly failing us. How are you going, how are you going to tell me to explain to you how I'm producing a play, yet you don't even have the slightest slightest clue or inkling about production now who sounds like a bigger joke me the guy trying to make it or you the guy trying to say i may not understand it but aya let's do it who sounds like a bigger clown why are you all posting up you know how they gave all of us sops for how we're going to sit in taxis how we're going to sit on border borders how schools will be reopened i have a question about particular sops yesterday i was in town i'm parked right next to a taxi taxi stops they're all wearing their masks they're all social distancing in the car the right way my problem was the two passengers that were coming on board there's that car first chair in the taxi you know it that chair is used by everyone to get into a taxi. If it is not that car chair, it is those blue rails that, that hold the front seat. First guy come in, he touch. Second guy come in, remember he just sanitized outside. Second guy come in, he touch, goes and sits. Now, like that wasn't enough for me. I'm like, oh, if this disease was in that taxi, this mother would all be dead, gone. Like that wasn't bad enough. There's that thing that conductors do. You give the conductor your money, he takes it, gives you back change, or just where is it? Where is it? I'm like, wait, didn't they tell us that this disease is on the surface for longer than 24 hours? What are we doing? What are we doing? These SOPs don't make sense. They don't. How many people? Just, just, and then there's that part where the conductor has to touch the money, then give it to you. The whole day that guy has done like seven routes. How many people do you know he has, how many people's money has he held? How many people has he been this close up to in the face? I'm just saying. Big shout out to Mbonye Remnant Bambi. When they heard I was off TV, they all jumped into my respective DMs to tell me, we told you the prophet got you. Actually, come back home, you You Seriously, you cannot begin attributing everything in life to what your prophet said. That nigga is a lie. Go tell him I said it. Let him go, because he meets God on what on Tuesday. Your prophet was so bored during COVID times. He decided to wear all the most ill-fitting, horrible shirts in town. He was so bored, they started to tell us he's wearing 2.5 Louis Vuitton sandals. Fuck. To Vena, yeah, yeah. Bow and Camille reunited. You also that sh**? Bow and Camille reunited. Facebook, you know, 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 Negro, you're the reason why they're going to keep beating many, many producers. Because it's like a bad relationship. You and that Will and Jada. Angela Katatumba, you and your inverted isosceles triangle looking type of body and those big ass teeth need to sit your ass down. You said I was cyber bullying you. Well, guess what, bitch? Today I'm on cyber and I'm bullying you. Look at how quest it was Angola, go go. The other day she was like, I don't shop in Uganda. Have you met your clothes? And you people make fun of my clothes, but Angela Katatumba's clothes, ngaha, ngaha. Mbu mene men hit my DM. Yes, the young ones who don't want to get employment, they think you're rich. They want to make you a cool go, bitch. Don't be that excited. Daddy Andre type, still floating in your situation, at your age you're trying to have relevance. So on that Katayini person's TV show. As for that Katayini person, lol. Ah, what happened to STV? What? They didn't come? 
Daddy couldn't buy that. God's plans money wasn't enough. What happened? Oh well, I'm still sipping water and waiting for that 400 million lawsuit. Because if you don't come through with it, I'm coming through with the counter suit. Anyway, we have a them cloned on Jerusalem today. I'll catch you guys on the flip side over the weekend. I have something I'm going to be doing here on. Um, it's going to be kind of like underrated and overrated. I want you people to tell me who in the industry you think is overrated and why, and who in the industry is underrated and why. And then we'll systematically go and break them down because I'm not going to waste all this beautiful head and magazine just sitting at home and enjoying this beautiful compound. <laughs> I can't help it. Give me Wara. <laughs> I'm out. Peace. You can hit the subscribe button if you want. Yeah.